Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Kevin. Today, Jillian, Goose, and I are on the Silver River. We just left Ray's Wayside Park. Behind us is Joe with his wife. They're in another uh, aluminum mud boat. And today, we're gonna do as much of the Ocklawaha River as we can. The whole river itself is about 115, 120 miles long. We're gonna try to do 50 miles. 25 miles one direction, turn around, and 25 miles back. So um, we're gonna try to go all the way to Rodman Dam, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough gas, time, and sunlight to do that in one day. So we'll see. It depends how, uh, how much our average speed really is. But it's a beautiful day. There should be no thunderstorms today. Although we did bring rain gear just in case. Now that I said that, it's probably gonna storm. But it's a beautiful day on the Oklahoma River. We probably won't see maybe one or two bass boats the whole time. It's not very popular for boating, but it is very popular for uh, wildlife. So maybe we'll see some alligators, turtles. There's a manatee right in front of us, I think. And uh, maybe some monkeys or something like that. So right in front of us, it's kind of browned out because we've been getting a lot of rain. There's a manatee right over there. But this right here is the Oklahoma River. And right here behind us is the Silver River. So this is where they come together. So if you go that way, you got about 20 miles to um, Lake, uh, the Harris Chain of Lakes. And then if you go this way, we got about 25 miles till we get to the Rodman Dam area. common problem in the Akawaha. A lot of logs. We fit three really good good logs where if we're going any faster probably would have bit the prop but it's a steel prop it's pretty strong. We should be good.
raised wayside boat ramp, which is where we launched. We've made it, it's about 25 miles. This is the beginning of the lake. The first channel marker sign is right there. And uh, we're just waiting on Joe to pull up behind us. And uh, I don't know if we're gonna go across the lake or not. We might just turn around and uh, head back. But we made it this far, it's still a beautiful day. It's not too hot, so we might just cruise around the lake for a little bit. I've only used half a tank of gas, which is three gallons. So three gallons, 25 miles, not too bad.
So this is an old abandoned lock from when they're gonna do the cross Florida canal back in the 60s. And we'll climb it to the top. That's crazy, all this is abandoned. All these buildings, looks like there's a shop. Well, tower for the uh, watch person. We made it 50 miles on this tank. It's 25 miles one way. We went all the way out to um, the beginning of the lake and we decided to make our way back. We have like seven miles or six miles left to the ramp and I just ran out of gas. So there's a little bit of gas in there, probably a little bit of gas in the line, but there's not enough pressure to keep it at the uh, fuel pump or whatever. So I'm just gonna take one gallon, probably top this off, and then that one gallon should get us all the way back to um, the ramp. But since there's a current, now we're going into the trees. What was that? Yeah, we got like what, six miles left?
So that was a long day of boating. I think it took us three hours to get from uh, Ray's Wayside down to the lake. And in total, it was 51 miles, and I did that on six and a quarter gallons of gas, which isn't bad. There's Joe behind us. The Okawaha is gonna continue that way. And over here starts the Silver River that goes to Silver Springs. So if you ever get the time, just go on YouTube and research. There's a lot of history surrounding the Okawaha River. And uh, Jillian and I have been watching a lot of the videos. Um, a lot of old footage, pictures from the early 1900s. And it's a shame that they haven't taken down Rodman Dam yet to uh, let the Okawaha River go back to the way it used to be. Um, I would love to do start from finish all 120 something miles of the Okawaha without having to go through any kind of locks or taking the boat out to go around a dam to put it back in or anything. So um, the way we're going to do it this time is we're going to break the Okawaha River up into three sections. So. This was the main middle section, and then there's a section that goes from the dam to the St. John's River, and then there's one that goes from this point right here, Ray's Wayside. If we go um, upstream, it'll take us all the way to the Harris Chain of Lakes, so that's like another 12 miles, something like that. So, like I said, today we did round trip, 51 miles. It's a lot of fun. We only hit like three trees underwater really hard. We hit a lot of little things, but we hit three trees really hard to where the boat bounced up almost out of the water but it's uh, it's a lot of fun I knew this river was kind of wild and a lot of stuff in the water but um, if you have the chance always go with somebody else in case something else happens um, we ran out of gas we knew that was gonna happen but it took a while to get the boat primed back up but uh, good thing we got it going something else that's really cool is if you look at old maps and even today's maps picture like Google Maps you'll see like Davenport Landing, Boar's Landing um, on the Oklahoma River, they used to have ferries that would go up and down, and that's how they would get people around, citrus and produce and goods and stuff like that, mail. And there was actually 90 something landings on the Oklahoma River, which means every one or two miles, the whole length of the river, there was a stop. So there's only a few that are still left today, and a lot of those are campgrounds, a little boat ramps and stuff like that, county parks. <laughs> 